Uh, hey everyone, um, hope you are doing well. So welcome to this brand new JavaScript series. Uh, if you ever wanted to learn JavaScript, but uh, 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 you didn't know where to start and how to start and or when to start, right? So well, this is the perfect place and uh, now it is the perfect time. Uh, JavaScript is the one of the most popular programming language in the world uh, used to make website interactive, dynamic and fun, right? So uh, our main objective with the series is to uh, is to help you understand the basic building block of JavaScript uh, programming. And uh, by the end of this series, uh, you will be able to build uh, simple financial technology applications uh, but now we are not talking about the full full blown up uh, trading platform right so but uh, you will be able to create tools like uh, exchange rate uh, 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 component simple interest calculator right and uh, of course uh, a loan repayment schedules and mortgage calculator right so if you already have a basic foundation in programming then uh, it will be great uh, it make uh, things a lot easier, right? So if you have watched my Python video, then you uh, know the basic understanding of uh, or foundation of the programming, right? So, uh, but if you're starting from scratch, so don't you worry, I'll get you covered and I will uh, uh, I will show you around on the basic foundation first uh, on the few uh, topics, right? Then we'll start building a project, right? So uh, uh, another is like, uh, what can data analyst and the data scientist uh, can gain from this series, right? So uh, JavaScript is a very versatile uh, language, right? And of course, uh, 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 I, I'm gonna use this for statistical analysis and of course for data visualizations, right? And uh, same time, uh, with, with this skill, right, you will be able to bring your data into the browser. So uh, in this series, we'll start from the absolute basic, whether you are a complete beginner or someone uh, who know coding before, right? So uh, we'll cover everything you need to know. So don't worry about anything, right? So we'll begin with found, uh, fundamentals, of course, the foundation side, uh, uh, which will be like data uh, data types, of course, our variables, uh, our operators, right? And gradually we'll move into the exciting topics like uh, advanced topic, which will be like uh, for loop, uh, nested loop, while loop functions, and of course arrow functions, uh, how to use classes, and uh, uh, the way to manipulate the DOM to create dynamic uh, web pages, right? So, and don't worry, this isn't just a, a, a boring lecture, right? Or you can say a boring series, but uh, I will help you to build a project uh, along, uh, so you can build your portfolio while learning from real world scenario, right? And I will also give the reference, like uh, which area and which sector are using uh, those applications and of course how they are using it right so by the end of this series you will be able to uh, build a skill set uh, uh, to build an interactive website you will understand how the javascript work behind the scene and uh, uh, you will uh, will be ready to take more advanced concept right so this will be like uh, building just a, a, a small project which will help you to build the foundations and of course help you to build the portfolio right so guys uh, let's move on and uh, let's start making this video right and uh, Let's not waste our time, uh, let's move on. Okay guys, so uh, let me uh, give you the brief overview about HTML, CSS and JavaScript uh, before we move into the foundation of JavaScript, right? So uh, HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript, uh, which is also known as the HTML, which is the structure of a website, where CSS is our style of the website and uh, JavaScript provide the functionality into our website, right? So uh, we have a front end language and we have a back end language, right? So front end is more about uh, how we present the website, how uh, it's gonna look like, what are the building blocks. So you can see the front end of the website in front of you. This website uh, uh, has a, an introductions of HTML that is like a, 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 they have used in a, a quite heading over here. And you can see these are the, uh, uh, simple paragraph over here right and uh, uh, of course so these are your HTML and when it's come to CSS you can see over here there's a different color right different color and you have a hover effect over here so let me zoom this in so you can see the hover effect right so if I touch into this search uh, icon over here now you can see over here the color has been changed from blue to green that is the hover effect so this is achieved by using CSS okay so uh, uh, JavaScript give you like more interactive functions like uh, uh, let's say there's a slide running into a website that's also provided by JavaScript right we have a counter over there 
and uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's the basic uh, building block right so we need to understand that the html is for front end which is you are uh, seeing in front of your eyes right in your screen so style is something which present the color right so uh, basically html is your structure with a boilerplate and its boilerplate provide the structure and where css is the style and uh, uh, javascript provide the interactions over there right so uh, what we need to know before we move up uh, into this uh, advanced topic right so before move into advanced topic we need to understand how this code work right so how this code and how this block need to be meant together so you can see over here is a single page so it will be a single page applications where we will use html css and javascript right so similarly the website you are seeing right now uh, that is a single page which contain html uh, CSS and JavaScript okay so the best way to start is uh, going to this website dab docs uh, you can see the all documentations over there there's plenty of documentations so uh, on HTML on CSS right if you go for like uh, let's say click one of them so it will give you the how to use it is provide your documentation site right? and similarly uh, you have to download this uh, this is node.js right so so node.js is uh, more about server side programming right it's like uh, when you're working with a framework like a react typescript or uh, anything which are library based right so you're gonna use a node.js over there right so it's a server side, server side programming and uh, i would suggest you to download from here and of course use the pre-built installer if you are using window or if you're using mac right so you can directly install that or you can use the command promote or PowerShell to install while using this command, right? So my recommendation will be use a pre-built installer, which will save your hustle, right? Okay, you can see the Apple website, right? So a very beautiful interactive website you can see over here. While I scroll down, uh, you can see like, there's a slide over there the slider is moving that's the interaction and you can see the beautiful colors right the hover effect over here uh let me zoom this in you can see the hover effect when you uh, touch into the pre-order uh, change the color right same with the buy so that's the hover effect and you can see how the image has been uh put together those are your uh html tags right and of course the css uh so this is the overall uh, website which has been built using uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript uh, and most of the time you'll build a landing page using this uh, simple concept but when you'll move into the advanced concept you will use React and other framework uh, to make it more dynamic right. So guys uh, let me uh, show you what you need first right you need Node.js and another is you need uh, uh, VS Code right. So let's move into the VS code and let me show you uh, some of my old project where I will give you the same example of uh, single page uh, uh, applications and how we're going to build a single page application and what are the requirements, right? Hey guys, so let me show you my basic JavaScript project. So uh, this is the project folder where I have kept my few basic JavaScript projects. So I'm going to show you around the live currency converter. So you can see inside the live currency converter folder, there's a three uh, file, which is index.html, uh, JavaScript, uh, uh, basically script.js, which is a JavaScript and the style.css, right? So uh, uh, I'll just show you around how this code look like. Uh, now, the funny thing over here is uh, uh, this all will create a single page application right and uh, I'm using a live data from API right so whatever the conversion rate it will show uh, the exchange rate it will show it will be a live data so uh, in index.html which is basically hypertext markup language HTML stand for hypertext markup language so which is the uh, structure of your whole website you can see over here that is the head and inside the head, I have mentioned the uh, CSS location. That is the CSS styles, right? And of course, this is your body. Body contain uh, all the functions over here. How we're gonna use it? And uh, of course, there is a script dot uh, uh, JS, which is the uh, the interactive side of the website, which will uh, convert into a uh, will convert and of course show the conversion rate into our uh, single page website right so uh, i'm gonna show you the extension we're gonna need so you can just press over there in vs code right so hopefully you guys know how to use the vs code uh, i 
not gonna make a video on the VS Code. Uh, there's a uh, plenty of videos on YouTube you can learn from there how to install the VS Code and how to use it. So yeah, if you are familiar with the VS Code, that's well and good. Or you can just check the short videos how to use the VS Code, right? So on extension, you you pretty much gonna search for live server extension. You're gonna install this. You're gonna install JavaScript S six code snip uh snippet. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you about this on future. So you can see over here, support language, like JavaScript, TypeScript, right? So there's a view. So there's a, a lot of important, uh, uh, I'm like, uh, especially when it's come to a framework, we need the uh, uh, ES6, right? And uh, you can see over here, right? It's almost pretty much same, both of them, right? And uh, you are gonna install HTML boilerplate, right? So this is very handy, right? So you can see like, uh, while, uh, you have to create all the tag again. You can use the shortcuts to create those uh, uh, boilers, uh, boilerplate, right? Uh, okay, uh, let's move on. Let me run this uh, into a live server. And uh, it's pretty much gonna run into a live server. Now you can see over here, I'm just gonna zoom in. Okay, so this is a basic uh, uh, single page applications. So I'm gonna use a USD and I'm gonna convert it into a British pound and I'm gonna just type uh, uh, 100 right so the 100 usd how much bit is pound so let's let let press convert button right you can see the hoover effect over here so 100 usd equal to 75.70 uh british pound right so if you want to inspect you will just press a right button into your uh engine and press inspect after inspecting uh you can see those codes right so these are the same code we have wrote over here and we have linked into a single page application right so uh, yeah that's the one so now we have to move on into the basic foundations of uh, javascript right so now we are learning more about the scripts so how to uh, write this kind of script right for this we need to uh, understand the basic of uh, uh, javascript uh, uh, let, let, let me get through this, uh, some of this, right? You can see over here, it has functions over here, it has variables, and of course, uh, uh, it has uh, 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 DOM, right? So these are the basic building blocks we have to understand while we are building this app, right? So guys, uh, let's move on. To understand the foundations of JavaScript or the foundation of programming, we have to uh, use a Chrome. So on Chrome, you will just press the right click button to your mouse and uh, you'll press inspect, right? While to inspect over here, you'll see element, console and source. So you'll go to console and you'll clear this area, right? So uh, uh, let me start with the simple topic, how to use a print function, which is console.log, right? So this function is commonly used for debugging and uh, providing feedback in web development. So let me show you on front of the screen. So that's the one uh, you can see over here. It says console.log hello world. And you can see over here, there's the open and close parentheses and inside the code, the statement has been mentioned, right? So this statement can be uh, your string. This can be your uh, boolean and this can be your, of course, uh, uh, integers or floating point number, right? Integer is just uh, counting numbers can be positive and negative and floating point number is a number which contain decimal, right? Let's say a random number, let's say uh, pi. Pi is a floating point number because it is like 22 divided by 7, right? So that's the floating point number. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, right? And I'm just going to... Just paste over here, right? That's simple, and I'm just gonna press enter, right? Now you can see over here it says hello world, right? Similarly, if I say console.log, if I put like something, a random number, right? Oops, sorry, random number, right? And 55, I'm gonna close uh, parentheses, I'm gonna press the enter button, then it will give me the print of uh, those statements, right? So you uh, pretty much gonna define the message over here right of course if it's a string then it will be a open and close quote right you can see over here inside the parentheses and if it's a number then it will directly define a number and in case of boolean let's say let's say just boolean right boolean is like let's say true and let's say false i'm just gonna press enter now you can say say true and false it's simple right it's very simple right guys so next is a template uh literal or template string right uh, so let's say, uh, let's say we have to make a print in front of our screen using a console function. So there was a two way, one is the implicit way, one was the explicit way, right? So the before, uh, uh, before we have used, uh, 
without declaring any variables right those are known as the explicit way right so now we're going to use the implicit way so in implicit way we're going to declare a variable first uh this example over here let text which is basically declaring a variables so let will allow to declare a variable over here so text is the variable who's storing the value which will be assigned by equal to right equal to symbol then we will assign a string over here right and and you can see over here that's the back tick and it say hello world right and of course uh, uh we're gonna use a console dot log and we're gonna declare the this statement text right to print those uh string right so print those string in front of our screen right so let me show you quickly um if i can open the inspect tool again open the console and i'm just gonna paste this right and i'm gonna say console dot log and i'm gonna say text right so now you can see over here we have uh, declare a variables then we have used those variable inside the message right which we want to print right so hello world uh, came up on the output screen right so uh, one more thing before we move into declaring any variables we need to understand about the cases right so okay guys uh, uh, while declaring the variables we have to follow some cases right we call camel case uh, we call pascal case and we call uh, of course uh, uh, snake case right so uh, these are the naming convention right uh, it's a code of a conduct uh, while coding in uh, javascript or python right it is the method uh, to define a variables right so which will uh, help you right which will help you to uh, make your code uh work properly right so it will reduce the bug and same time you know like uh there won't be any syntax error right so or you will be face uh syntax error all the time if you don't define your variable properly right so let's say uh let um uh, i'm gonna define the snake case first right so that will be the easiest way to explain you so let us uh, say uh let i'm gonna use a let to define my variable in javascript so it will be let value right so value of pi right of pi value of pi right so it will be all in a small you can see over here there's the underscore right so value underscore of and underscore pi so this is the way you define a snake case in uh python right so i'm gonna define anything like uh 22 divided by 7 right so i'm gonna say like console right dot log i'm gonna say value of pi right now you can see over there that's the value of pi so uh similarly i want to define something let's say in camel case i want to define the value of e let's say let e value so this is the camel case i have used the e as a small then i have used value right let's say e value or or i will say constant right i will say math dot e so i'm using a math modules over here so in future i will tell you about the math modules right so i will say console dot log and i'm gonna say e value and i'm just gonna print this now you can say 2.71 that's your uh constant right that's your uh, basically uh it's i think it's an error number right so now i'm gonna define the pascal so let's say pascal right case i'm just gonna write directly pascal case right so i'm gonna make a string this is a pascal case variables so a variable right okay so i'm gonna say console dot log pascal right case right i'm just gonna print this now you can say this is a pascal case variable Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully you had the basic understanding of JavaScript now and uh, I will uh, cover the data types in another video and, uh, uh, and guys uh, have a nice day and peace.